Bill, what's your routine for staying up on the market and learning what the best stocks are? Tell people a little bit about that. Well, on the weekends, we have a number of screens, and I go through these charts, and uh, they're set up on some of the parameters and rules, and we're looking for chart patterns. And we see a pattern that resembles something that we know was highly successful, then we're going to start checking that stock out. And you can go out on, on our website, investors.com, and we have a, a checklist you can go through and, and see are the earnings there, are the sales there, the, is, is the chart right, uh, how about the industry group, and all these measurements. And you go through a very quick process, and, and we know this backwards and forwards, so we can go through, uh, let's say on a weekend we might have eight or ten stocks that look interesting, and we'll check them out pretty quick and probably boil that down to three or four. But we're screening and screening and screening uh, through thousands of stocks, and you can weed out most of them because they don't act right or the, the earnings aren't there. So it's a pretty fast process to come down to who really has earnings and sales and a product, and, and the stock is also acting right. See, you have to have the chart to see, is it acting right? Maybe the earnings look really great, but it's not acting right. Something's wrong that you don't know about, and uh, that's why you have to trust the charts. I'll tell you a little clue that uh, <clears throat> charts don't lie. They tell you exactly what's going on. Now, it's up to you to read it and understand it, but they don't lie. And, uh, and sometimes uh, you, you can be lied to or just gullible and, and accepting something that somebody says Look at all these people that lost the money with Madoff. Gullibility, thinking that, oh, wow, this is just great. I'll, somebody's going to make a lot of money for me, and I don't even have to pay attention to what it is or know anything about it. And you have to feel sorry for some of those people that lost their entire retirement and everything else. So you've got to know what you're doing, and, and uh, maybe you're not dealing with somebody that is on the up and up. But the charts don't lie. 